I'm gonna watch the intro again. The throne of ball for yoga lovers. Really helps with your posture. So here we are again with Baldur's Gate 2, the enhanced edition, Shadows of Arm. Done. Black Bits 2. Done. Throne of Baal has just begun. The Lord of Murder shall perish, but in his doom he shall spawn a score of mortal progeny. Chaos shall be sown from their passage. I think I like footsteps better, but okay. Hey guys, look. There's a book. Available from all good bookstores now. There is no peace for a child of Baal. You've learned this lesson time and again, as all who are close to you suffer because of your tainted blood. A bit of flickering top I left behind me. Spell, you had hoped for some sort of respite, but peril follows you like pestilence. The time of the prophecy has come. Five powerful ball spawn have arisen, leading their armies across the sword coast. Five powerful ball spawn. Does that include Imoin? She's not really that powerful. Massive destruction. I wonder. Like wildfire, panic spreads before the army. We've already killed one of them. And those suspected of being children of Baal are cast out and revived. Even in Soldanesalar, unease grows into fear at your presence. Queen Elysim urges you to visit a sacred grove where the ancients might shed light on your fate. We went there, and another Baal spawn you turned up and had a go at us. Play in the dreaded prophecy, and how long before its culmination devours your soul? Toothy pegs. Only one thing seems certain. So long as Iraq's throne of blood stands empty. Chaos shall reign. And then we get into some awesome menu music. I mean, you can... Dude, stop touching your face! Stop touching your face! Haven't you heard the news? Poking yourself in the eye, picking your nose, and then wiping it all over your teeth? Come on, man. <laughs> Okay. Let's load back in from where we were. So we haven't really got too far into the game. I mean, it does say 239 days and two hours. Someone say, touch your face, slap yourself. Nice. Echo, you recently caved in and bought yourself Minecraft. Feels good to be back on it. How were you on it before? When was the last time you played? Do like, you it's been know a while. I am? What does the pops say? Meow, 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 meow. Well, I think that's answered that question. Thank you very much, Camdog. For the 10 month total, seven months in a row. You rock, sir. What does the pop say? Meow, 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 meow. Cheers, that was the perfect amount of meows. Not too many, not too few. Welcome in, Archetype. How are you doing, dude? And thank you again, Camdog. That is very, very kind. Bringing that Twitch Prime love. It was poppin'. You could say the Goldilocks amount of Muse. Oh, there we are. We're back in. Huh. Yes? It's an interesting way of joining the, uh, the game. So, what's this over here? Some stuff on the floor. Is this the dudes that we just fought? I assume this is their stuff. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What up, Dexess? Anything that's blue 
we take. I can hold no more. Okay, yeah, anything that's blue that. and we can hold, we take. Oh, it's been a while since we had to start doing this. That is a composite longbow. Nobody uses them. That goes over to Minsk, who I do believe is our staff of the woodlands. Braces of defense AC4. What are you currently rocking? Braces to the death, which is AC6. Nobody else wants them. Taco plus one. Uh, yeah, we can probably sell those bad boys. We have a scimitar plus one. That can get sold. A dagger plus one. That can get sold. We have a spear plus one. Guess what? Sold. And some arrows plus one. Honestly, I think our only ranged like bow type weapon is the fire tooth and it has its own infinite ammo. When no bolts are equipped, the crossbow fires missiles that are treated as plus four for the purposes of determining what enemies they can damage. Go for the eyes, boo! Caboose, you sea dog. And in 22 hours, you will be at our 100 hour mark. Cheers, man. Good to see we still have the right to bear arms. <laughs> Says Wilson. Uh, more stuff on what the floor. Blue stuff, blue stuff, blue stuff, blue stuff. That looks like sensors of a cat. Paws of the cheetah. Close enough. Doubles movement. Who wants them? I assume everybody that can wear boots is already wearing boots. Can we put little booties on the bear? No. Boo. Wilson wants little slippers. Oh, we do actually have slippers. Little booties. That's not loot. Little tiny booties. Boots with the fur. Uh, ooh, Sylvan Chain plus two. Spell casting is not disabled. Move silently, open locks, find traps, pick pockets. Imoen, what are you currently rocking? Uh, oh. Pick pockets minus 20. Move silently minus 10. Uh, armor class three, one, five. One might... Yeah, oh god, that one's way better. Sell! And we have some rings. I mean, I'm assuming all of this is going to be pretty stock standard stuff. Ring of the Princes, yeah. King RG Bargy. Your food is now ten minutes late and they won't pick up the phone. Ah, it's a damn shame, dude. I'm sorry to hear that, bruh. Uh, just to whet the appetite, what is it that you've ordered? What is it that you don't currently have being shoveled into your face? Trying to support a local takeout, and look where it gets you! Pizza and a milkshake. Mm, nice, nice. I love that there's lots of this at the minute as well, as if as if everyone is being the, a philanthropist. Uh, is everyone being like massively generous to the local people? Oh, yes, I'm, I'm supporting my local businesses. No, you've ordered a takeout is what you've done. You're getting a takeaway and you're justifying it. Trying to say that you're a good person. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that you're not supporting their businesses, but still. <laughs> I'm supporting my local businesses. Oh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> they do need help, to be fair. So, what do we have here? Erin Sling plus Fla uh, 5. Hmm. I don't know why that wasn't equipped on you. I mean, I've sold uh, something. Has everyone got amulets on? Apart from the bear. Oh. Mince doesn't. Is this yours? Must have been his. Hot milkshake and cold pizza. Gem to Argaroth. Hopefully it doesn't take a 
over an hour like the last pizza that you ordered did. Boom. It just arrived! Everybody stand down! You can now turn off the torches. Or extinguish the torches, sorry. Yeah, turn off the torches. Light the beacons. And the rest of this I don't care about. Speak. Dial it back to DEFCON 5, exactly. King's about to share some pizza. The pizza sharing will happen on Saturday. It will be done. Interesting. What have we got in here? We have uh They're not portals, they seem to be magical shields. <laughs> Caboose. <laughs> Is this Zoidberg's mum? Isn't she attractive? What's happened, King? What's happened? Have they ordered the wrong thing? Have they delivered, sorry, the wrong thing? There's chicken on your pizza! Well, that's what you get for ordering chicken pizza. What a fool. You can't handle this roller coaster of emotions. Hmm. Um, um, what? I assume we can't go up through this way? Or can we? Uh, you do not yet have the power to leave. You must complete your first challenge. Hey, Enforcer. Uh, what's going on here? Flapping about. Cespinar. Well, we've uh, sorted everything out, so I'm going to save again. Well, you know when the world goes into crisis, you cannot count on that pizza joint, Argaroth. I love that, I mean, surely if they were struggling for business, they would have got that perfect. So, just purely by the fact that they got that wrong, clearly they're trying to, they're struggling to keep up with demand. It's from all these people being, huh? better support local businesses. Oh god, so many takeaways! <laughs> I, I suspect some of their workers are also self-isolating or whatever. Not anymore, fate has spoken! Devour the flesh of the innocent. Let it empower you. It's a very uh, Baldur's Gate way of putting it. Ooh, fate spirit. Greetings to you, child of Baal. I am an aspect of your fate. A thread that leads you unerringly along your destiny. In a way, I am part of you. Aspect of my fate? Um... Do you know anything of my powers? I only follow the strands of fate that you weave with others, child. You tug at the entire pattern of the tapestry. Such is the strength of your own destiny. You also end the threads of many. Threads that touch you and get woven around you are cut short, dead. Their future ended. Such is also your fate. Your throat doesn't do that when you squeeze your throat. <laughs> Love the voice changer thing. Yeah, so do I. It's a shame that it's a dial. I wish there was buttons that I could be like, boop, presets, presets, presets. Um... Either say something useful, I will show you... Just what death follows me. More of the same. I cannot touch your own thread, child, nor can I tell you where it leads. I can, however, alter the threads of those who le whose lives are intertwined closely with your own. Those whose destinies are tied to yours. Meaning what exactly? 
There are those who are tied to your fate and your future, whether they know of it or not. If their threads are within my reach, I can bring them to this place. You can bring people here? If they are meant to be part of your future, yes. They will fall into your wake because their fates are tied to yours. GoXLR has presets if you ever feel like upgrading. I mean, it will take quite a while. Unfortunately, uh, when I buy something, it has to be useful for a long time. Because I've got to get my money's worth out of it. Can't be frivolous with this spending, unfortunately. Okay. Oh my god! Is there a thread that you wish to search for, child of Baal? I will bring them to this place. If I can. Uh, 150 hours, or is it not one pound per, per hour for tech? As long as I get an hour... Uh, hour I mean, that's, that's low end. A pound an hour for tech is very low end. Oh! Oh my god, can, can we get Yoshimo back? I mean, I'm quite happy with my party. Is that, is this about reforming the party? Jahira, no, we are not having Jahira back. Uh, Mazzy was very good. Do you think we need Imowin in the party anymore? Because Mazzy was technically better than Imowin. You must know how much you are you paying your equipment press. Better be paying at least a living wage. Hey, they get the honor of being used by me. Wait. They're doing it for exposure. The voice changer is angry because it hasn't been paid. Exactly, the exposure payment. Um, so I assume if we bring people to us, then we can ask them to be part of our party? Mazzy was very good. And although I like Imowin, does she have much use left in the, in the party? I wonder... When you wish upon a star... Uh, never mind, I can't think of anyone. As you wish, continue your course. Okay, uh, can, yes. we, can we, can we, can we go back to that same dude again? Ah, uh, yes, the pathing. Pathing definitely hasn't been sorted out, has it? So we've already saved, so let's just double check. Because I'm thinking possibly Mazzy. Get Mazzy back in the party. As you wish. This, this is a strange place that you've brought me to, my friend. I have little doubt that it's for a good reason. Do you require my assistance, or is there some other purpose to your summoning? Uh, it's good to see you again, Mazzy. Everything is well. Everything is as well as can be expected, Mons Makata. I still miss my poor Patrick greatly, but I am sure you did not bring me here for a mere social call. What is it that you wish? Uh, okay, I need your help, apparently. Uh, wait here a while, I'll deal with you later. This seems like a most unpleasant place to pass the time, but I shall wait until I'm needed. Excellent! We have literally just brought her into hell and been like, Oh, hi! Um, oh, yeah, I've forgotten what I wanted you here for. Can you just hold on? Just stay there. Got some stuff to put a chicken in the oven. What is it? Without doubt. Chill here in hell for a bit. Yeah, you're fine. Ooh, shiny ones. So I'm assuming it's something to do with these boxes. There's eyeballs that we can poke on the walls. Ooh, shiny ones. Uh, these boxes contain nothing, currently. Uh, I guess we poke this other... Eyeball. It's 
<laughs> this dude just <laughs> muttering away to himself. I love it. All right. Yep. So, all right, let, 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 let's 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 have a a like for like comparison. We have Imwin, who is proficient with a one plus on short swords, scimitars, wakazashi, ninjato. Daggers, quarter staffs, crossbow, shortbow, dart. Um, resistance is fifty to fire, but that's more likely just to do with you in general. We do have two casters already. Imuin has been linked. To be fair, Imuin was forced on us. I like Imuin. What do you want? But I like Mazzy. And now that we've summoned it, let, let's let's literally just do a side by side comparison. Speak. Okay. Um. Name it. We can we can reload. Uh. So, uh, mage, dual class, mage and thief. She is a thief level seven, mage twenty one. 721 with single proficiencies. Yes. Quickly and precisely. Yes. Do you require my presence in the party then? Uh, yeah, go on in. Let's get rid of you. Oh, not you, Massey. Let's get you, rid of you, Emily. You want me to go? Are you sure? Uh, just uh, stay here for a little while in hell. That I need to be with you. That something important is happening. But if you're sure. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, can you summon everyone at once and have them wait? Just everybody here in hell. Just stay here for me, please, everybody. Now I wonder. I assume you're wondering why I've brought you all here. How may I assist? Um, level up. She sounds sad that she's staying behind. Yeah. Yeah. Short swords and short bows. We can... Do you, do you have crossbow? Yeah. So we could chuck over the crossbow, the fire tooth that we've got. And we would have a... Character receives plus one to hit, plus two to damage. Oh, for warriors only. An extra half attack per round with the selected weapon. So we could... I mean, Mazzy is, is, is more of like a, a very specific style of character where the Im Imuin just doesn't know where she is. It's half mage. And she... She's made us go through hell, uh, through hell. <laughs> literally. I mean, to be fair, that was more Saravok, but anyway. Do we have quality options today, by the way, peeps? It's been a while since I've had to start saying that every time. Yay! Nice. To level eighteen fighter. She's quite. Underleveled compared with the rest of us, but eh, I suppose she's the same level. But this is a multi class mage 16, cleric 18. I'm pixelated for you. Is that a good thing? <laughs> 21 wild mage, okay. Uh, all I want to know is whether I got uh, uh, quality options, regardless of pixelation. Uh, okay, so level eighteen. I do like the idea of having Mazzy in the party, but is it too? Well, we know where we can come if we need her. If if we really need to focus down. And get a dedicated ranged damage dealer. 
Oh, so that means that we don't have... God damn it. So we don't have quality options. Bum. We might restart the stream between uh, between games today. God damn it. I mean, I completely understand it. <laughs> Excellent. King Arkroth was just like, yes! Not even going to check. Yes, you do. Cheers, King. <laughs> Whilst slowly picking off chicken from his pizza. Yeah, you're fine. Ah, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, we don't have quality options, which is a is a is a massive downside, especially because I'm I'm running at uh 1080 60, which I don't need to. The whole reason that I ran at 1080 60 is because we always had quality options, but obviously because there's much more traffic going through Twitch at the minute, maybe I need to lower the uh, lower the frame rate or something. We shall see. We shall see. I mean. 100% your end, King Agra. My end, we don't have our, we don't have quality options, which was the, the specific question that I asked, to which you answered yes. Right. Let's load up. I love that Every time we reload, apparently we uh, we spend time and space in in some sort of black void, and then appear magically. I don't care about you, Argroth. I care about me. Yes. It will be done. Oh, okay. So we've got to stand in the middle, apparently, to commune with the eyeballs. Greetings to you, child of Baal. I am an aspect of your fate. The thread that leads you unerringly along your destiny. In a way, I am a part of you. Oh, another one? Wait, that was the same... What? Do you know I can leave this place? I only follow the strands of fate that you weave with others, child. You tug at the entire pattern of the tapestry, such as the strength of your own destiny. You also, you also end the threads of many. Threads that touch you get woven around and are cut short, dead, their future ended. Such is also my fate. Uh, so can you help me or not? Cannot touch you, nor can I tell you. I can, however, alter the threads of those whose lives are intertwined closely with your own those whose destinies are tied to yours meaning what exactly I can bring people here never mind what is it but we asked this eyeball right is there anything else there's nothing in these boxes Do, are we like are we railroaded into literally saying yes to Saravok Speak without doubt. You're following me. Wouldn't be very D and D, you know. Oh, is this just one? I thought it was the eyeballs. Is that a second thing there? No, that's the same thing. Good servant. Yeah, you, oh, yes. you do your thing, dude. Uh, is that something separate? It looks like exactly the same thing. Ooh, yep. Shiny ones. We could just stay in hell. Yeah, it's quite cozy down here. How you doing, Baron? I'll put a throw rug down. Oh, tie the room together. I don't see anything else that we can interact with apart from Cespinar, this weird whole wall up here. Hmm. Hmm. It's 
playing on my mind now, ladies and gentlemen. It is playing on my mind that we don't have quality options. Uh, let's drop it down to 10... 7.20. Yeah, I'm going to have to restart the stream uh, and just keep our fingers crossed. Unfortunately, with Twitch, uh, the amount of traffic that Twitch has got going on at the minute uh, and the fact that we are an affiliate, we don't get guaranteed quality options. Uh, but quality options, as we have found out often, are literally the only way that people can watch the stream. Uh, why did 720 give a ton of options? It's 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 basically an algorithm that Twitch uses. So if if you're a partner, uh, if you if you are one of the the lucky like 0.1% of Twitch that is a partner, uh, you always get quality options. So Twitch does the, the internal tweakings necessary for you to have quality options. So you've got loads of different options. Uh, if you're an affiliate, you just got to roll the dice. There is an unseen dark hand that has a, uh, that has a, um, an algorithm that, that they basically just goes, okay, right, uh, this is the time, this is the amount of streamers that are on right now, uh, this is the bitrate that you're streaming at, this is the quality that you're streaming at, can I tie all these together and give you quality options, drumroll, no. To be fair, they've been doing really good. Recently, they have, uh, until the, the, the coronavirus shenanigans happened, um, I have almost every single stream been uh, been allowed quality options. Unfortunately, uh, it looks like I'm going to have to, at least for the foreseeable future, chuck the stream down to uh, 7.20.30, just so that we can have a, a better chance of getting quality options. It's a shame, because, you know, the cam and, and, the, and the PC and everything can handle more, but at the same time, I don't want to, you know, Push people away and be like, oh, hi, by the way, I stream at 1080 60 now, even though I'm streaming retro games. Don't really, really need that. Anywho, we're back and we've got quality options. This is going to play havoc uh, for me doing the, uh, the VODs, by the way, because I'm now going to have to, to take a 1080 and a, and a 720 and kind of splice them together. It's probably going to look cack. Hey, Pixie, how you doing? Sorry, we just restarted the stream because uh, no quality options. But 16-bit games look so good at 1080. Uh, not that I'm interested. No, I don't care about you. But you sorted your side out. Your, your entire needed a restart. Restart that tire. Yes. So I can't see anything that we can do Quickly in here. And precisely. Commentary over quality to a degree, but yeah, uh, Baron, this is the thing. Like I, I, we, we've been streaming um, retro games for for the majority. So I've always been like, okay, yeah, I I don't have to stream high uh, settings. But w what happened was Twitch started rolling out better and better services for affiliates, uh, and we were getting quality options every time. So I was like. You know what? If I get quality options every time, why not use them? Why not utilize them? Crank the stream up to 108060. Those who do have good enough, good enough internet can use the 108060. However, if we've got quality options, those that can't use the 108060 have those options. Plus a nice community. Yeah. What is it? Without hesitation. So yeah, that's that's kind of where where my my thought process came from on the whole 108060. I don't think this stream needs it, which is why I'm I'm a little bit annoyed that I had to restart the stream because, you know, choppy streams are not fun streams, but at the same time I think we're uh, we'll get over it. Go on, Caboose. Live dangerously. We're going to have to talk to uh, to Sarabok, aren't we? I think we're being railroaded here, which I dislike. Yes. Um, mate. What's just to stop me from killing you after you tell me what you know? Nothing, perhaps. Doing so would not return you that which you freely gave, however. And what would you kill me for? Revenge? You had your revenge. Do you truly blame my ambition? Would you do the same again if I could? 
I would do the same again if I could. I cannot, however, and you've nothing to fear in me. Yeah. Yep. I did. No, we're totally being railroaded. Come on! Do you not have some sympathy for your half-brother that almost caused the war between Baldur's Gate and Arm? No! The guy that took us down to the Nine Hells and we had to fight him and kill him. Caboose, it's like you dipped your glasses in glue. I did just try walking past him, but it says that we've got to go through some trials. There's no way I'm trusting you. Meander about then, search for your own way out. If you must, you'll be back. Speak. This will not take long. Like, surely there's a way out. Is it like a singular pixel thing? Let's just tab. The only things that I can see are this pile of stuff on the floor. These boxes, which contain nothing. This entire wall that does one thing and one thing only, which lets us bring back friends from, like, the other plane of existence. The, the non-hell. What was that? Was that something down here? No. They look like little conkers, although I'm pretty sure they're eyeballs. So yeah, if we try and just walk past him. Tapinar is good servant. Oh yes. You do not yet have the powers to leave. You must complete your first challenge. Can we ask Cespinar for the first challenge? Cespinar gladly serves a great one. Cespinar make good butler. Yes. Would you like me to make you shiny ones? Do you I have, have many recipes? Do you have a list of your recipes? It might make this easier. Sadly, no. All recipes is up in here, in Zesmanar's head. So many, I can never keep all of them straight. Is job security, maybe? Uh. All right, forget it for now. I've got better things to do. Fine, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to, aren't we? I'm a little bit annoyed that that doesn't. Here's a genuine question flag to anybody out there that knows. Is there a way to get through this part without agreeing to Saravox terms? Because honestly, I don't want to agree to his terms. We have literally just dealt with a guy who was who was stripped of his uh, his powers and then caused all sorts of hell trying to get his powers back. So Saravok being like given life again and then yeah, ending up with with reduced powers and obviously a a, a will to get them back. Yeah, I kind of feel like nah. Nah, bruh. Uh can't you kill him after? Maybe. <laughs> But that seems like an evil thing to do. We're, like, we're, we're chaotic good. He is our brother. Half-brother. Only halfway there. I'd like to know how you first came by this knowledge of yours. I gathered much of the old lore when I was alive, my sister. As you will recall, it was my goal to assume the mantle of our father. I am dead, perhaps, but the lore still holds true for you. Brother! What say you? Uh, knowledge, that's all you're offering for a piece of my soul. Bah, knowledge is now, yeah, no, we've done this one. How did you come by this supposed knowledge? You gather much of the old lore when you're alive. Very well, apparently I have to agree to your demands. <laughs> so I have cheated death. Thank you, dear sister. 
No gift could please me more. I'm going to end you if you do anything but live a sheltered hermit's life. You've got a sword right now. You have to get rid of the sword, get rid of the armor. Don a penny and, and go work in the soup kitchens, all right? Atone for your sins. I live flesh and blood and bone. I am alive. <laughs> I swore I would scratch and crawl my way back into the world of the living, and I have done it. I did it, thank you. Though my sword and armor have not appeared, no matter, I mean, what? No matter. Without the bar essence to channel their powers, they are of little use. I shall make do without them as I once did. Thank you, Moscato Makato. I am pleased. That's odd. I don't feel any different. I did not say it would only... Did I not say it was only an insignificant portion? I suspect that doing it here in this place, it might work, but I was not sure. It is good to see that I was correct after all. You weren't sure that it would work? I knew it! You were bluffing this whole time! I did not get to where I... I did not get to where I did in life without risk, fool. It was no bluff. I knew enough to suspect that it might work, since our heritage was the same. But none of that is important. I imagine you are eager to hear what I have to say. The first thing I shall tell you is of how to leave this pocket plane that you have created. It is an extension of your will, Monscaro. It exists because you need it to exist. It is this plane which creates the portal out, but it will not take you to where you wish to go. It takes you to where you need to be, or perhaps where you believe you need to be. But I cannot give you the ability to make this plane create such a portal. There are many barred passages in this plane of yours that I know of. One, however, I can open, and beyond it lies what you seek. Watch. What up, Keen? How you doing, dude? Good morning from the Quarantine Bay area. How's life in quarantine keeping you? Path! Okay, I think I understand what's going to be going on here. You suddenly know with a strange certainty that the room uh, beyond lies a challenge. You somehow know that you must face an aspect of yourself and your fears. Saravok stands ready. Hmm. Enter that room and face your challenge, Monscaro Macato. It will be difficult. You may not want to do it alone. There is a spirit here which can summon those companions you require for your party. If you require such. Ah! Okay, so if we had soloed up to this point, we can get extra dudes in here. I see, but we already have a party. Regardless, once you have completed that challenge, you will be able to leave this plane of yours. Does not, however, take you to where you wish to go. It takes you to where you need to be, and as I said, know where that is. And I, as I said, know where that is. In my youth, I spent much of my time looking into the old lore of the dead Baal priesthood. I unearthed one of the old prophecies from an uncooperative sect of Siric, one that spoke extensively of this time now upon us. Okay. The Sword Coast will run red with blood, yes. But the battles will culminate in a great struggle within a city to the south. The Tetherian city of Saradush. Oh, what was called in it? Tetherian. Tetherian city of Saradush. It is there that you must go, where the first step of the prophecy will unfold. Although, naturally, you must face your challenge first. Ah, okay. Then what's... 
How do I know I can trust what you say? Which is kind of the, the, the core of this whole thing. Of course you cannot trust me. Why would you? Take me with you, Monskaro Makato. Well, no. Take you with us? So you can betray us? Stab us in the back? Why would we ever want to you with us, Saravak? I once was sure that the old prophecy centered around me. Even if that is no longer the case, I know more about them than perhaps anyone. I can't help you, Monzer. The challenge in that room and more. Of course, I do this for no selfless reason. There is a power in your wake, Monzer. I am sure I am not the first to tell you this, and there is no better opportunity for me elsewhere. Besides, you defeated me long ago. You have earned my respect. Think of it. Brother and sister, side by side. Can we kill him now? I don't know. Okay. He, I don't, I was gonna kill him. I didn't want to. I didn't want to even accept his offer. And now, yet yeah, the game wants me to, to to have him in my party and keep your your enemies close and your friends closer. Wait, now your friends close and your enemies closer. That's the one. Keep your friends close, but your friends closer. Although to be fair, at the minute. Keep everyone really far away from you. I mean, I don't think this one is forced. This definitely... Yeah. Why would you give me the options, you know? Why not just have this play out as part of the intro of the game? That's... Yeah. That Saravok is... is I suppose that's kind of what they're doing, isn't it? I don't have room for you in my party, even if I wanted to take you. Then leave one of your lackeys here in your plane for you... Then leave one of your lackeys here in your plane for you to return when you require them. Or leave me in this place until I am needed. I intend on seeing what occurs with you, so I will wait. How would I know you wouldn't betray me at the first opportunity? Now we'll take an oath to follow you, my sister, if that will satisfy here in this place. Such an oath would have power, like a gears. I could not betray you. Hmm. But, like, who would we replace? With Saravok. I don't want to get rid of Wilson. We spent a long time getting Wilson. I don't want to get Minsk. Minsk is, is, is a good for a laugh. I mean, we could kind of get rid of him, I suppose. But then we've got four frontliners and two backliners. There's no arguing that Saravok is self-serving. Evil. But at this point in the game, you have to ask yourself, how much blood is on my hands? How many people, creatures, dragons have you slayed? All because you both suffer the same affliction, child of Baal. The difference is that he did it for his own gain. We did it because we were forced down a road by several people. Minsk stays, always. We ne we did, to Do be you fair. you know who I am? Taco salad! Thank you for resubbing for five months, my man. Cheers to ya. Cheers to you. Welcome in. I hope you're very well. We did the whole of um, Baldur's Gate, the first game without Minsk, um, because we had a bard in the party. Difference is he realised that after... Uh, he realised it earlier than you and chose self-preservation, and in pursuit of that, he did a lot of self-serving things. Ask Saravoki if he has any spare loo roll. Excuse me, sir. There seems to be a shortage. Do you have the spell create loo roll? 
Cheers, Taco. Thank you. Hello, pretty pretty. Yo, Shen. How do's? You're ready to be self-serving. It's the level 9 spell, Wish. Wish for lots of toilet roll. If he intends to steal a Metal Gear, he'd be related to me, though. He'd be my dad or something. Bogrolius Apirus. Bang. How are you doing, Lou? Uh, thank you very much, everybody, for being here on this lovely Thursday. New stream day for me. So I do appreciate it. Trying to put out as much content as possible, and... People being here always does help. So thank you. Uh, okie okay, No. You're too willing somehow. I don't trust you. Forget it. I see. So be it. My business is finished then. You have what you need and so do I. Gather your companions for your challenge and be off. Maybe not meet again. Thought he said that he was staying here. <laughs> hmm. Uh. He just portaled out of this dimension. He's got power that he hasn't told us about. Destiny's next stop. Uh, I mean, is he now Where part of the goes, people that we can... Evil stands aside. Mm, no. Vaconia, Vaga, Rasad, Nalia. Could get Dawn. I, lo I love that we, we forced the helm of uh, alignment change. Onto Dawn, so he was actually a good boy by the end. <laughs> what is it? Ah, oh, it's a real difficult one because I feel like we're going to miss out on some story if we don't have Saravok in the story, uh, in the party. It will be done. Where would we put him? We'd probably put him where Wilson is, but I love having Wilson in the party. It's basically, what do we want more? Story out of this game, or a bear? Jay, you're lurking until the computer burns down. Oh no, the building's fire alarm. If you don't return, it was nice knowing you. Dude, stay safe, man. Stay safe. I'm hoping that it's just an accident. You didn't take him, and it was still a hoot. Okay, Lou. That's good news. Thank you. What do we want? Story or a bear? Clearly a bear. The answer to that question is obvious. It's a bear. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? It was silly of me for it to even ask, wasn't it? Let's go. We got a bear in the party, and we got places to be. What's going on up here? I'm thinking methods. Prepare to be eviscerated. Hi, Gavit. You're, you're one of us. You're one of the Balspawn, aren't you? Oh, but you, you needn't worry about me. I'm dead. I'm a nobody. I grew up in a small farming village. I, I didn't even know what I was until they came for me. But I knew I was different. You can hear the screams at night, can't you? You can feel the blood of the murdered how feel oh flows all around you a thousand different pains and you're nothing but a solitary echo but it's not terrible it's it's inviting it calls to you as if it gives in as and if you give in to it if you offer your entire heart to it everything becomes crystal clear one murder two a thousand it all becomes part of you I murdered three of the local girls until I was driven out, and then I went to the city. Murder was easier there. I felt the call every night. 
You can taste life, you know. It's divine. But you resist it, don't you? Why would you do that? I can't feel you've murdered many, and yet... I can feel you've murdered many. Yeah, we have, to be fair. And yet you resist all the good that we alone, the Balspawn, can appreciate. After all, the only thing you need to fear is retribution. Bution. Saravox, a great party member, but he doesn't necessarily get along with your existing friends. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, I thought Mephits. We got kobolds. That's fine. Wilson! Get in there, bruh. Yep. In we went. Fire tooth. Hmm. Nearer. How about we bring some ads in? My blade down to south. Faster than to Hey, Gabe. How you doing? Good to see ya. Right, I don't know uh, how big the chant can be, but... Good lord. Next time. Let's Ready, that's it. Mix these guys up slightly. Oh, hello. Oh my god, doppelgangers. <gasps> it's been a while since we've seen some doppelgangers. Let's um let's just put a dragon's breath on top of this dude. Speak. Okay. Ah, it's fine. Oh, hello. Ogre Mage. Oh, can everyone see that? Oh, for the love of crumb cake. For the love of crumb cake. Was it? Go on, Wilson. Are you just one-shotting all of these dudes as they come out? Next time. Is that Saholguin? To be fair... My party, my party's doing pretty good. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wilson, Wilson. Ogre Mages. Ogre Mages can be a problem. I mean, they look like low-level Ogre Mages, but still. Ah, oh, don't take Gabe away, Echo. We like having Echo here. Uh, we like having both, both of you here. How am I doing? It's not been a bad day. Um, I went for a, a nice long jog. Uh, I'm almost at 10,000 steps, which is all good. What do you want? Uh, wait, what the hell? You have infinite fire arrows. Why would you go up face to face with these dudes? Okay. Um. I'll help however I can. Protection from energy. We don't have mass heal or anything, do we? Um, I forget. We have two mage spells, cleric spells. These are the cleric spells. Spell turning. Okay, let's summon a mystery. A mystery. Why not? Uh, Wilson, if you could make yourself. Do you know who I am? Resistant to magic! Gabriel is here. Echo! Echo, is here. Echo resubs. Oh noes. Oh wait, that is good news. 14 month hype. Woof. Hippily Rufus, Hippily Leg. Hippily Rufus, Hippily Leg. Thank you very much, Echo, for resubbing. Welcome back in. Cheers to you, dude. It's been a while. You rock, sir. 14 months. Can I get some cheers in the chat for the wonderful Echo Alpha? Ten K steps all together, a hundred each day. It's ten uh, K steps for the entire year. Epic. Uh, that's my Nishru, right? I have a feeling that 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 these things are going to get worse and worse as they come through. Maybe we should bring the Afriti out as well. Freety? Free Freety? Wilson, I want you to stay over here, please. Come on, have a heal. 
What do we got over here? Drow Priestess. Drow Warrior. Let's try and take down this Priestess. I was wondering why they weren't attacking. It's because they're being held currently. Bodhi? Bodhi? What can I do? I'll do it. Okay, I would very much like to kill Bodhi, please. This is a lot more exciting than any Um. Service. It's Mass Cure. Let's see if we can get that off. Mr. Nishru. Uh, how about a magic missile on Bodhi? Magic resist? Magic resist. Whoa! This is a Renicus as well! Yo, 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 yo! This this wasn't what was supposed to happen here! Something up? Oh, I'll show you a fight. Hmm? Okay, let's uh let's give another mass heal. Uh, mass cure even, sorry. Throwing us right in at the deep end. <laughs> oh, GG, Echo. Uses a wand, but also gets eaten. Are we good? Surely that's one trial down, right? We just defeated Renicus again. Slightly easier than the last time that we faced him, but still. To be eviscerated, fool. So you survived retribution. I didn't. But then you know how to kill a lot better than I did. Strange thing is, the longer you survive, the more blood you have on your hands, and there's never an end to the retribution. Hello. Hey, Phil. Or is there? Dun, dun, dun. Oh, oh! You point. Yes. I punch. Certainly. Okay, so we've got lots of stuff on the floor, but it is all absolutely useless. What is it? Hey, look! There's my Nishru. Can we rest? There's never an end to the retrofusion. Just pauses while we go and get liquid refreshments. Ah. And TP, <laughs> yeah. Let's see if we can rest. Well, this is lovely, isn't it? 10 out of 10, would stay again. Oh, Mons just leveled up again. Which is exciting nowadays. See, so doing it through the Black Pits too, wasn't that exciting, but now it's like, hell yeah. Don't get a proficiency, unfortunately. We do get critical strikes, which is which is good. I, I don't believe, I can't believe that I hadn't hit critical strikes yet on Monza. Cespinar is there to guard, to guard us. Of course, of course. So, I think it's the other way round, Pill. I think the Black Pits, because we didn't, um, the, the story itself carries on directly on from the end of Shadows of Arm. So in my mind, what happened is Baldur's Gate 1 happened. All of that. Then Monza was taken to, uh, the first Black Pits. Then all of Baldur's Gate 2 happened. Then uh, Throne of Baal. And Black Pits 2 is actually after whatever happens here. So we're doing like a uh, Metal, Metal Gear. Or we're doing a, a, Tar a Tarantino. We're kind of jumping all over the place. Uh, someone else level up? Nearer. Ooh. Oh, I do love Comet. I do love Comet. But I do also love Improved Alacrity. Mm, 
the sick comet. Let's do it. Uh, we also get additional one sixth and one nine level spell. Law three, extra hit point of one. Excellent. Let's sort our spells out. Just quick, quick, smart, dear boy. Let's have a comet. Because cause comets. Watch as Doctor Who is used to plot holes. Fair, fair. I love my kapow. You know it. Uh, improved taste. Cool. Um. Earth elementals, nishrus, tensors, transformation. No. Invisible stalkers, improved hastes. Flesh to stone. Death spell. We should probably have one death spell just in case we face uh, Morden Cain and swords. We can dispel them by BAM! Slapping down death spell. Yeah. Black Pits and Black Pits 2 are completely separate stories from the main game. That is true. That is true. But in my head, I'm bringing them into the lore of Mons Cara Makato. Because Monza is my own creation. Obviously, we are taking her through the games. Let's double check that we are not missing any other spells. Cool. I want to make sure we're maxed out. Awesome. Ah, my eye. What's going on? Lots of tiny particles. Maxed out, maxed out. Not maxed out. Uh, another death spell. Mm -hmm. hey, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we could bring in Morden Cain and Sword ourselves. Ruby Ray of Reversal is pretty badass. Simulacrum, amazing. Abidal Zim's Horrid Wilting, amazing. Uh, we have a Comet, Improved Alacrity, and Summon Planetar. Planetar's in very, very useful. Cool! Yes. Uh, we should have done that before we rested, but you know what? Direct me as you will. I'm just gonna push forwards. Ooh! Shiny ones! Love it. Love it. Oh, Jer, are you still here, by the way? You haven't even tried out your new command. Uh, okay, okay. okay. Any more for any more? Hello? Can I go through another door now? What was that about a wrecking ball? Suspinar gladly serves a great one. Suspinar make good bite. Nah, 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 nah. You, you just go back to what you're doing, bro. Shiny ones for you later. Suspinar go back to cleaning and finding the recipes. Oh yes. You made a clip a long time ago, Echo. Uh, well, Jer, Jer has been here so much. And supported so much that he's earned himself 100,000 plunder, which he has redeemed his own personal sound command. It's the least that I can do. Well, the world is on fire. Is that all I had to do? That was just one room. I was almost, I was almost sure that we were going to have to do all of those different rooms. The general is too busy to meet with the likes of these commoners. Move along and no one gets hurt. These people represent the concerns of the entire town. Please, good soldiers, hear their case. Hi, Mellison. Our food is almost gone. Our children cry out in hunger. Your master must hear our pleas. The plight of peasants is not Gromnir Ilkhan's concern. Stand aside, townsfolk. If you know what's good for you, you'll all head back to your home. Hmm. The army outside the city will surely kill us all. Your master cannot just turn his back on us. Clear these gates. You won't get another warning. Brr. Threats are not the answer here. 
everyone stay calm and we can work together to find a solution. Excellent. These guys are clearly trying to get inside to get some TP. Our orders are clear. Move these peasants along or we'll move them along ourselves. No one do anything rash. Uh, perhaps if we return later when it is more convenient for Gromner Il Khan to see us. No, Melisan. We will not be bullied this time. We will stay right here until they take us to Gromnir. Don't know whether that's going to work well for you. Camdog, fun fact. Several NPCs in Throne of Baal were named for forum post... Uh, several NPCs in Throne of Baal were named... Oh, for forum posters in the old Bioware forums, Gromnir Ilkhan is one of them. Nice. We demand to see Gromnir. Take us to Ilkhan. There's just no reasoning with you people. You only understand the edge of a sword. Don't do it. I told you to clear these gates. You brought this on yourself. He's going to do it, isn't he? No, put down your weapons. This is not necessary. Hi! Ha! This child of Bob appears from nowhere. Possible. So I can't do that at the minute. I'm a damn ulcer. Why did I even try? Intruders! Spies! The walls have been breached! Intruders? Spies? I mean, you literally just saw us appear from thin air, right? Attack! You're keen to kill me. Come on, man. Can we talk this out? Sing it with me now. Why can't we be friends? No, hold your weapons. These might be allies. Come to help. Don't fall for their tricks. Kill them all and let the gods sort them out. It's it's a nice welcome. Wait, seriously? Seriously? We can't talk this over. What is it? I don't think this is going to end well for you guys, but okay. Swords, not words. Swords, not words. Hardiness. Mm. Hardiness on the bear. Minsk and Boo stand ready. Yeah, Brat. Uh, how about you throw a fireball up in here? Oh, love from Minsk. I wasn't even close, M Minsk. There you go. Swamp. Have no with you. Wait, what? I am an ally to all the children of Ball, as you will learn. I will return when you are ready to see reason. Oh, I didn't realize she was standing there. Sorry, Madison. Whoops. That's uh, collateral damage there. She was... She was well camouflaged in the background. Hi, you're a little bit on fire. I am Melisande, a friend. Welcome to Saradouche. I regret your first encounter in this town was so bloody. Yeah, I, I regret that I set you on fire as well. Sorry about that. I do, in my defense, you are very similar color to the floor that you're standing on, so... Just, just saying. How do you know my name as well? I've literally just arrived here from nowhere. I have watched the events of your life quite closely, Monscara Maketo. As I do with all the progeny of the Lord of Murder. I have seen many of your kin slain over these past months. She seems lovely, but I think maybe too sweet. Why are Baal's children of such interest to you? You might consider me to be a guardian. Or I want... For want of a better term. I know the prophecies of Aulondo. I know some feel they allude to the return of Baal to the, rem to the realms. By taking an active interest in the fate of Baal's offspring, you and those like you, I hope to prevent the Lord of Murder from returning to the realms in any form. Okay, right. I take back what I just said. 
sounds cool. I thought she was going to be like all sweetness and light and actually want Baal to be uh, be back in the world. But, uh, you know. Don't judge a book by its cover. I was trying to judge that book by its cover in like flipping, flipping it on its head. So you're just another person meddling in the fate of Baal's children. I do not know how you came to be here, Monscaro. I fear you are now trapped here in Saradouche like the rest of us. Trapped? I have yet to find the prison that can hold me. There is little hope of escaping from this besieged town. In addition to the army surrounding us, dark magic prevents us from even sending a message beyond the walls. Beyond the walls of Saradouche awaits the army of Yagashura. They are laid. Well, they have laid siege to this town, seeking the death of all those who share your tainted blood. Ha! Ah, okay. Apparently, there's a lot of them here. Is there any hopes of stopping this slaughter? First, we must deal with General Gromnir, the man who now runs the city of Saradouche. Simple. I just throw a fireball at him. That never goes wrong. We never accidentally set extra people alight. Gromnir is also a child of Baal and was once a powerful general. I brought him and his loyal men here to protect Saradouche, as the many Baal spawn gathered here seeking sanctuary. Ah, some sort of hob. Fireball, the true utility spell. Exactly, Caboose. But Gromnir is mad. He's barricaded himself in the castle throne room and his troops run amok around the town with no regard for the lives and rights of the citizens of Saradush. Uh, we don't like this Gromnir's style. Such a betrayal is worthy of death. The actions of Gromnir and his soldiers have caused dissension within the tower and made it almost impossible for the loyal Saradouche militia to defend the walls. We must first defeat the enemy within before we can end this siege. You must find a way to get inside the castle to Gromnir. Perhaps you can reason with him, but I fear he is beyond reason. I am afraid you will have to kill the general to give Saradouche any hope of surviving this siege. Uh, for the sake of the town, I will try to reason with this mad general. I'll give it a try. See what happens. Who knows? I may be difficult to find after this, Monza. The town suffers and my hours are spent doing what I can for the people. If you have another question, I suggest that you ask it now. Okay. Um... Yeah, I, I like to know who my enemies are. Could you tell me about this Yagashura that are laying siege to this city that I've just been plopped into? Yagashura is a Baal spawn. Oh, it's a dude. Okay. Or a chick. Not entirely sure. Perhaps as powerful as you yourself. He and his army will not rest until every child of Baal within these walls lies dead. And there's one more. A chicken dude. It's true. I mean, I don't know why I always clarify, because dude is a multi-purpose cover-all term. Uh, why is Yagashura killing all the other Baal spawn? I imagine something similar to uh, Saravok. He wants ultimate power. Until you prove yourself, there are some secrets I must keep to guarantee the safety of the people I have sworn to protect. If you wish to save yourself from Yagashura, you will aid me regardless. It may be difficult to find after this and ask me some questions. Uh, any tips on getting Gromnir... Uh, what, getting into Gromnir's castle? I can offer little advice in this matter. Gromnir own, Gromnir's own mages made approaching the gates hopeless. You will have to find another way in. I just pray one exists. Okay, other questions... Uh, no more questions. I'll help since it means getting valuable information from you. 
Uh, one last thing. Any idea how long you think until the walls are going to get breached? Siege could last a few days or a few months. Act quickly, Monza. And may fortune shine on your mission. Hey, I like that there's constant fights going on here. Speak. It will be done. Gold. Gold. Summon Nishru or something? A blue item. Gold, gold. A blue item. Gold. Health pots, health pots, health pots, health pots. Health pots. Ooh. Crackly. Crackly warm fire. Halberd plus two. That goes over to you, Minsk. We need to find someone to sell all this stuff to. It's only a little fire. It's not a big one. It was already burning. Yes. Since I'm not entirely sure when. Pokey Koki Artichokey. Let's have a look at this map. We have Castle Saradouche, stairs to the second floor, Militia Headquarters, Kaiser's Home, Countess Santel's House, the Tavern, Arcana Archives, Gromley's Barracks. Temple of Joaquin! We have a prison as well. Oh, what's next? Uh, explosions! What is it? Incoming! Run for your lives! Oh, well, you're dead. Watch out, small child. You should probably not be out on the streets right now. <laughs> is your bar spawn? Please don't eat me! Daddy said ball spawn will eat little boys. Uh, I am a ball spawn, but I don't eat little boys. My name is Monscara Makato. You won't eat me, promise? My name is Tazit. If you're not going to eat me, can, can you help my daddy? Daddy got hit by the fire and fell down. I can't wake him up no matter what. Please help my daddy. Oh. Your daddy's dead. Uh, okay, I can't help you, but perhaps a cleric in my party can. Well, could you get them to help me? Could you please? I, I just want my daddy back. Uh, I assume this is your dad. You need something. Airy, have a chat with this dude. <laughs> Might be able to help you with a spell. Let's see. Your daddy's gonna need scraping up with a spatula, boy. He smells delicious, though. I want to put him on a bun. What? What happened? I felt myself hovering over my own body. Something was pulling me away to a distant place. I fought against it. I couldn't leave Tacit alone, and then suddenly I felt myself being drawn back into my body. Glad that you slept well, game. Uh, you're lucky there was no guarantee that the spell would work. You, you, you raised me? But such spells are so expensive. Never in my life could I have afforded to be raised. I feel unworthy for your attention, my lady, but I thank you nonetheless. Uh, reputation. Bing, 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 bing. As well as a thousand quest experience for everybody. Just sliding back into chat. You haven't even tried out your new, uh, your new sound command, my man. But you are Barspawn. Thought all's Barspawn. There you go. So long and thanks for all the fish, Jer. <laughs> Glad you like it, dude. Uh, you are a bar spawn. I thought all's bar spawn were very the very incarnation of evil and death. I I see now I was wrong. See, we're building bridges. Hitchhikers, hi. My name is Fezak. I must apologize, my lady. I, I I fear I've judged you and your kind unfairly. I have no reward to give you, but my thanks and prayers. Hopes and prayers. Hopes and prayers. 
You are truly a great force of good in the realm, my lady. Perhaps you will yet save Saradouche. Oh, yeah! We arrived. We're saving people. Left, right, center. Well, to be fair, we've saved one dude and we've killed a lot more than we've saved. But you know what? We'll still take it net gain because reputation has been increased. Without doubt. Okay, anything else? There's lots of dead. We don't really have too many of these spells, unfortunately. The catapults have been bombarding us for weeks! Fine. Uh, what's in your boxes? Uh, a couple of gold. Cheers. What's in the box? Yes. I mean, I, I, I will be using these, this, these gold coins for good. Peasant? Hello, mate. You look a friendly face. <laughs> Please help us. Gromnir's men terrorise us in the streets and I fear the army outside will soon burn Saradouche to the ground. <laughs> I'll try my best. Can you see his home? What is it? I mean, that's, that's some dude's house, right? Oris Nimblefinger is the dude with an actual name. Without hesitation. And that was locked. First thing you do Happy to help. when you enter to try to help. anywhere. I'm ready. Oh. Time to move. Wrong. Thieving. Good to go. Door has a very complex lock, and nobody appears to be home at the moment. Speak. Okay. Okay. This will not take long. I mean, this dude literally has a, a name. How did I come to this? I'm just a simple farmer. It's my fault my father was the Lord of Murder. Oh. Is it your fault? Uh, you are one of Baal's children? I, prob I imagine not him himself. Baal may have been my father, but I want no part of this. Oh, no, he is Baal's father. I came to Saradush to escape persecution in my hometown. And all I want is to try and blend in with the normal folk. I know it's hard. When you learn your father was the god of pure evil, you just have to find a way to deal with it. I did, eventually. Just leave me alone. I can't tell you anything. I'm just a simple farmer. All I want is my normal life back. Damn this cursed immortal lineage. Yes. Oh, he's off. If it must be done. Just hanging out in the streets. Humans, dwarves, peasants, cats. Can we pet the cat? The cat has nothing to say to us. Fine. What are we looking at here? The prison. Can't get into it currently. Oh, can we? Sorry. Yes. Apologies. Yes. I forgot how much talking there is in Baldur's Gate and how much I need to m remember to breathe, otherwise it makes me start yawning. For the lack of oxygen in my head. Right, you are. <sighs> what is it? There's a, there's a ding dong. This magical lock will only open for a specific key. It will be done. Temple of Joaquin. Certainly. Sister Farel. As always, the pleasure is mine. Greetings, my sister, and welcome to the house of Joaquin. I am Sister Farel. How may I serve you? Uh, can you tell me anything about Gromnir? Gromnir is a tormented man, afflicted in both spirit and mind. The taint of Baal poisons his blood and tortures his soul. I would feel pity for him, but he has been... Very cruel. Farmer, son of Baal, can only make crops that taste slightly of blood. <laughs> Gromnir trusts no one and has locked himself away in the palace to await the inevitable end of this siege. Though I fear that he will first bring destruction to us all. Is there still more I may do to aid you, sister? Uh, oh, yeah. What do you know about a woman called Mellison? She brings music wherever her name is mentioned, apparently. A virtuous woman. 
A truly kind and compassionate lady, she brought the bald spawn to Saradush to find them sanctuary within its walls. It's not her fault that Gromnir took advantage of our hospitality. She meant well. Did she, though? Did she actually? Alas, this siege has thwarted her noble efforts. When the walls fall, they surely must. And as they surely must. Oh, but... God damn it! Remember to breathe, you idiot! All the Balspawn will be slaughtered, and her efforts to save them will be for naught. Pill pal calling together a pillage. Ransack the nearest town and take everything. Is there still more that I can do to aid you? Uh, do you know a way that I might get into the castle and speak to Gromnir? Cam dog, polishing steel. It's a two-person pillage. Casualties have fallen. Ah, oh, pill pal, tricked cam dog. Caboose just outside, just out of time. Out of time and out of luck. Second late in a buck short. Uh, as you wish to get inside the castle? No, you wish to get inside the castle. Why? I would not suggest to anyone they seek out Gromnir. In his mind, he is capable of anything, sister. Well, I've got to seek him out regardless, all right? There seems to be a small dagger in your back. Okay. What's going on over here? Shush, please. Shush. Get out of here. Get out of here, you! I have little choice. I must seek out Gromnir's re uh, Gromnir regardless. You do not seem like an evil person, sister. Very, very well. I will help you with your task. Though it will not be an easy one. Several years ago, I was asked to seal the entrance to the city jail to keep a great evil from escaping into the city. As a cleric of some power, I was the only one who could do so. I am loath to reopen the entrance, lest the evil escape into the city, but if you think you can reason with Gromnir or aid the city somehow, perhaps, perhaps it is worth the risk. What kind of evil are we talking about here, then, eh? I sensed that the powerful undead creatures had... Oh, no, I sensed that powerful undead creatures had taken up residence in the abandoned jail cells. More than this, I cannot say. Though I would suggest you bring holy water with you before going down there. It's clearly vampires. It's clearly vampires. This key will open the door to the jail. The door itself has been warded against the undead. But once you are below, you will have no protection against them yourself. You will find the door across the street. I wish I could tell you where to go once you are down there. I know it connects to the castle, but not how. Take the key and be safe, sister. We have options. We have quality options, and we have options of what we can do. Uh, we've asked everything that we can of this lady, I think. We would like to see her services. Certainly, my sister. Yaska says bark, bark, bark. We do not have much due to this siege, but I will offer whatever I can aid. Uh, what have you got? Got some healing potions. Ooh, an elven holy water. Holy water! Uh, restoration? Okay. Right. 
Right, never mind. Uh, we have the raised dead on airy anyway. Potions of healing, antidotes. We'll take the elven holy water, because we have been told that it's probably a good idea. Holy water blessed with the elven god Rillifane. The water was specifically made to combat vampires. Is she price gouging here? Is she like, yo, yeah, 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 you going, you going down into the, the depths of the, the castle? There's going to be vampires down there. Oh, by the way, I just so happen to have for sale holy water that can combat vampires. Fine, I will take ten. But I won't be happy about it. Whatever could it be down there? Hmm. Bugs. Okay, Sister Pharrell has uh, given us a key to a jail cell. Uh, sorry, to the jail. Speak. Just bring the sun with us. Yeah, yeah. To be fair, what will it be? wait, I'm confused. It might might be that we have the, the spell that we need. I think we did have False Dawn. Wherever you go, always bring False Dawn with you. I'll help however I can. Wrong person. We have Disintegrate. Do we have False Dawn? Did I imagine it? It'll be on our cleric spells. Holy smite. There it is. False dawn. Oh. How are you, modern savagery? Psych! It's just going to be kobolds. Oh my god, can you imagine if we just dropped 800 gold on some holy water? Just to find out that it's just urine with some tomato juice in it. Yes, I'm listening. Oh, yeah, no, sorry. I, I, she didn't actually say that there was going to be vampires down there. It will be done. Uh, we have some sort of trap door. Now, I have heard songs that tell us not to open trap doors. Because there's something down there. Uh, should we try and get into this house? Vampires, and uh, probably some spiders, cobwebs, standard. So where are we now? Bromnir's barracks. Balspawn! Wait, what, what did you just shout? She just... The Balspawn have doomed us! Alright, that's the kind of hateful words that, that spread fear, okay? Bromnir's guard barracks. Uh, there's some... Link size. Stupid runt, you're eating all our food and breathing our air. These catapults have been bombarding us for weeks. Vampire spiders, mayhaps. Hello, Alexander Ralisar. You don't look like one of the locals. You're a child of Baal as well. Lured here like the rest of us to face our inevitable end. As well? Yeah, well, I think we can guess by the words as well as to what that means. Yep, I'm one of Baal's offspring. I myself am of Baal's progeny. So I've been told, I guess Baal's blood runs thicker in some of his children than in others. You calling me dumb? You want to go some, son? You want to throw Dan? I'll throw Dan. Anything else I can help with? Um... What can you tell me about Gromnir? We're trying to get as much information about this dude before we face him. No, it means we're thick. Ah, dummy thick. I'll take that. Never liked Gromnir much. Too unstable, if you ask me. I came to Saradus seeking sanctuary, but when he took over, I decided to get as far away from him as possible. 
not true for all of us, though. I understand there's quite a few Balspawn whom he's got to fight in, on his side. Some of them are pretty powerful, too. Uh, is there anything else that I can help you with? Uh, I can ask you some questions about Melison. I hadn't met her until I came to Saladouche, but I had heard her name. She seems to sell... Uh, no, sorry. She see you. Yeah. They said she promised to keep us Balsborn safe. But it looks as though we're all doomed despite her efforts. Poor lady. How did you get here exactly? I assume with her, Melisan. Not Melisandre. Somebody different. I wasn't brought here by Melisan, like some of the others. Oh, I got it wrong. I fled here from Sembia. My home village was burned to the ground by a dragon who claimed to be hunting for me. Hindus doomed? Or just regular doomed? Just that standard, run-of-the-mill, common, all garden doomed. My friends, my family, they threatened to give me to the dragon if I didn't leave. So I did. And I heard a lot of other Baal spawn were coming here. Now I almost wish I hadn't come. I say anything else that I can help you with? It's very calm for someone that's in a city that's being bombarded. Uh, go on. How did, uh, let me know you got it. Do you know how to get inside the castle? There was another child of Baal about, about here who could teleport. Wait, there was another child of Baal about here who could teleport about. But I don't know if he could take you with him. Timid fellow, anyway. Probably not the kind you're looking for. I don't know what you'd want to get into this castle for, anyway. My advice would be to stay away from Gromnir. When this army gets inside the walls, he's the first thing they're gonna go for. Sure. He's the first thing they're gonna go after, for sure. Alright, thanks, Alexander. Whatever you wish. Soon enough, we shall all be dead anyway, as I suspect. Walls won't hold forever. What is it? Can we open this grate? Certainly. It's a pretty good grate. Definitely on the side of amazing. No? No, no. Nope, it's locked. Mm, let's try. Go on, let's try and unlock what do you it. Want? Alright, alright. Mechanism that operates this does not have a conventional lock. Speak. I have a feeling. <laughs> God damn! Okay. Okay, watch yes. out because, yeah, um, catapults Without and stuff. Doubt. Wow. That surprised me. What the heck is this? Arcana Archives. Hello, Mr. Redman. Quickly and precisely. We got some books about the history of Kalimshan, history of Cormir, history of Dambreth, history of Dorpa and Var, history of Estegund. Plenty of histories. Gondagul the Lost King. Halrua. All of these various people. Shadowdale! I kind of want to go through Shadowdale one day. I kind of want to get all of the Shadowdale, the histories of Shadowdales. And be like, okay, combine these together. Let's read about Shadowdale. There's the history of Shadowdale 3. And 4. And 5. Apparently this dude does have all the hi histories of Shadowdale. Dale. S uh, and six? Seven? Eight? Nine? Ten? Eleven? Any more for any more? What is it? Wow. You know those words? You know when you say things out loud and, uh, and like fate decides that, yeah, we're going to give you the opportunity directly after saying that out loud to en enact it? Um, 
I don't know whether we've got time, and I don't know whether my mouth could take history the entire... Uh, sorry, reading the entire history of Shadowdale. Any more? Okay, then. This is Tethir. That's fine. The Bell in the Depths. Chosen of Mistra. Dales in Elven Court. The Dead Three. Should we lead it? Let's, let's read about the Dead Three. That'll satisfy my bloodlust for a story. There we go. The history of the Dead Three. Knuckle bones, skull bowling, and the empty throne. In ages past, there was but one god of strife, death, and the dead. He was known as Jurgle, lord of the end of everything. Jurgle fomented and fed on the discord among mortals and powers alike. When beings slew each other in their quest for power or in their hatred, he welcomed them in his shadowy kingdom of eternal gloom. As all things died, everything came to him eventually. And over time, he built his power into a kingdom unchallenged by any other god. Eventually, however, he grew tired of his duties, for he knew them too well. Without challenge, there is nothing, and in nothingness, there is only gloom. In such a state, the difference between absolute power and absolute powerlessness is undetectable. During this dark era, there are there arose three powerful mortars, mortals: Bane, Baal, and Merkel. Gunfutsu, greetings, welcome in. How the devil are you? We're just reading the history of the Dead Three. So originally there was one dude, Jurgle. And then there was a dark era. And there arose three powerful mortals. Bane, Baal, and Mirkel. Who lusted after the power Yurgle wielded. The trio forged an unholy pact, agreeing that they would dare to seek such ultimate power or die in the attempt. Over the length and breadth of the realms they strode, seeking powerful magic and spells and defying death at every turn. No matter what monster they confronted or what spells they braved, the three mortals emerged unscathed at every turn. Eventually the trio destroyed one of the seven lost gods. Fidgeting over here. Shh. Fidget, fidget, fidget. Pip, pip, pip. Hold up, what? Speak. Why is that gone? This will not take long. Yes. What the hell was? If it must be done. Thank you. Let's go back. Let's not be interrupted by my own party. So Baal was one of the dead three. He's not dead yet, though. In this in this story, apparently, he is very much alive and mortal. Uh. And the three dudes destroyed one of these seven lost gods, uh, each seized a portion of his divine essence for themselves. The trio, the trio then journeyed into the Grey Waste and sought out the Castle of Bone. Though armies of skeletons, legions of zombies, hordes of non-corporeal undead, and a gauntlet of liches they battled, eventually they reached the object of their lifelong quest. The Bone Throne. I claim this throne of evil, shouted Bane, the tyrant. I'll destroy you before you can raise a finger, threatened Baal, the assassin. He was an assassin. And I shall imprison your essence for eternity, promised Merkel, the necromancer. Tyrant, assassin, necromancer. We're learning things here, people. Jurgle arose from his throne with a weary expression and said... The throne is yours. I have grown weary of this empty power. Take it if you wish. I promise to serve and guide you as your... What the heck is that word? Seneschal? S Seneschal? Let's go Seneschal. Let's put the, uh, the, uh, the emphasis on the last A. I promise to serve you and guide you as your Seneschal until the... You grow comfortable with the position. Before the stunned trio could react, the Lord of the Dead continued, Who among you shall rule? 
trio immediately fell to fighting amongst themselves, while Yurgle looked on with indifference. When eventually it appeared that either they would all die of exhaustion or battle on for an eternity, the Lord of the End of Everything intervened. What a name! The Lord of the End of Everything. You've never heard of that word either. We're in a good club. The Lord of the End of Everything intervened. After all. All you have sacrificed, would you come away with nothing? Why don't you divide your portfolios of office and engage in a game of skill for them? Asked Yergle. Bane, Baal, and Merkel considered the gods' offer and agreed. Yergle took the heads of his three most powerful liches and gave them to the trio that they would compete by bowling the skulls. Each mortal rolled a skull across the grey waste, having agreed that the winter would be that the winner would be he who bowled the farthest. Malar the Beast Lord arrived to visit Yergil at this moment, after quickly ascertaining that the winner of the contest would get all of Yergil's power, he chased off after the three skulls to make sure that the contest would be halted until he had a chance to participate for the prize. Bane, Baal, and Merkel again fell to fighting, as it was obvious their sport was ruined, and again Yergle intervened. Why don't you allow Lady Luck to decide so that you don't have to share with the beast? The trio agreed, and Yergle broke off his skeletal finger bones and gave them to the players. When Malar returned from chasing the skulls, he found that the trio had finished a game of knucklebones. Bane cried out triumphantly, As winner, I choose to rule for all eternity as the ultimate tyrant. I can induce hatred and strife at my whim, and all will bow down before me while in my kingdom. Merkel, who had won second place, declared, But I choose the dead. And by doing so, I truly win, because all you are lord over Bane will eventually be mine. All things must die, even the gods. Baal, who finished third, demurred. I choose death, and it is by my hand that all that you, lord, that you rule, Lord Bane, will eventually pass to Lord Merkel. Both of you must pay honor to me and obey my wishes, since I can destroy your kingdom. Bane, by murdering your subjects and I can starve you of your kingdom. Merkel, by staying my hand. Malar growled in frustration, but would do n but could do nothing. And yet again, only the beasts were left for him. And Yergle merely smiled for he had been delivered. Such is how Baal came to be the Lord of Murder. That was a pretty awesome story. I'm not going to lie. I'm very glad that we picked this random story. We should do this more often. I mean, what is it? at some point, I do genuinely want to go through the history of the Shadowdale. It seems like a pretty metal universe, right? Seneschal is French. It has several meanings, but reflects uh, on such as a supervisor. Ah, okay. So he will be the supervisor, and he was going to look overlook their their contest. Makes sense. Add a dramatic reading stream to the schedule. I mean, it's still in the game. This is the thing, Caboose. This is a great thing. We are dramatic reading within the walls. Ha! Excellent timing. Hey, Liva, how you doing? Sounds like uh, the past jewels from Pulp Fiction would be... Uh, would instead of... Sounds like the passage jewels from Pulp Fiction would instead be reading if that film was set in the Forgotten Realms. Yeah, dude. And I shall strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger. Another reading stream would be awesome. Hey, I just I just read for like ten minutes, 
and it was a pretty badass story. Like a little short story. It's awesome. Uh, you can smell a tiny bit again. That is good news. That is good news. That means that hopefully you'll be able to taste as well. You sadly missed it. Don't you worry, Jim. These things happen, and there is lots of books yet to come in this game. We're going to talk to this dude. Have a look at my wares. Mm. I trust you'll find them all in satisfactory condition. Lazarus Liberus at your service. Welcome to the Arcan Archives. Arcana Archives as well. Sorry, I get those two mixed up sometimes. I would normally invite you to look at my magical wares, but alas, my shelves are completely bare. I have not a single parchment left for you to purchase. My spellbook has been stolen. Without it, I cannot fashion the powerful scrolls which normally fill my shop. Please, mighty mons, Caro Magato, I beg of you to help a humble wizard. Ah, uh, da da. Yeah, go on then. It'll probably be somewhere in my, uh, in my quest anyway. I right, thank you for your aid in solving the theft of the spellbook, Mighty Monscato Mercato. Is there anything else that I can do to aid your investigation? Uh, tell us about the crime. He who smelt it dealt it. At first, I suspected Hectan. He is well known about town for his sticky fingers, but after questioning many witnesses, it is clear that Hectan was at the local pub from dusk until dawn of the night of the theft. Send you the complete works of Edgar Allan Poe if you read them on stream. I don't know whether Ad Edgar Allan Poe's um, uh, estate would allow us to read those on stream. There was a, we we have done one reading, uh, and it was definitely out of copyright. Dilemmas, Gabe. Go on. You need sustenance. Yeah. H.P. Lovecraft, the thing on the doorstep. It was really fun. I still suspect that no good thief. Hectan was involved. I can clearly see the guilt in his face, but there is no proof. Without my spellbook, I am virtually powerless to pursue this myself. And as a newcomer to this town, I have no one to turn to for help. Thank you, Gabe. That gem as well. Sorry. Look, because Admiral said that you had to heat. Always, always. Keep healthy, keep strong. You never know when we're going to be besieged. On a pirate ship. Any clues? There is but one clue, Mons Caro Macato. This guy apparently says my full name. Though it does little to point a finger at Hectan. A set of muddy footprints leading from my window. S very small footprints. Are smaller than those of Hectan, or any man or woman for that matter. I regret that there is little else I can tell you. Hectan can usually be found in the tankard tree, if you wish to question him. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, go on in. I'll return when my investigations are done. As you wish. I urge you Godspeed. Without my spellbook, I have no way to restock my inventory with the precious scrolls I normally carry. Mm. Echo, do eat, Gabe. You should too, but you have no stomach right now. What, you like that dude from the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Just got a brain in there instead. Lima wants to eat again. Just... Edgar Allan Poe's works are apparently in public domain. Hmm. Interesting. I love that we're inside, but the, the fire... The, the catapults are still doing damage. Speak. Certainly. What the heck is going on here, Hail Khan and your soldiers? Elder man, elder woman, you look like you're at the head of this. 
because everybody else looks exactly the same. You got some business with us? Think hard on this, because you don't want to have business with us. Leave these elves alone, they aren't bothering anybody. Figures! You find elves, you find elf lovers. Mind your own business and you won't get a... Uh... Okay. This is my business. Now back off, or you will feel the wrath of a child of Baal. Baal spawn. Look, we're just having them some fun. We don't want no trouble with you, we ain't stupid. We'll leave the pointy ears alone. There you go, that's how you disperse conflict. Nice. Yes. Let's have a chat with this elven man. It will be done. The fair folk rarely have time for small talk. Thank you for saving us from those bullies. However, I am afraid we may yet run into trouble with the soldiers in this town. We have nowhere to stay. We have no choice but to wander the streets. I fear we will soon run afoul of Gromnir's men once more. Uh, perhaps I can find someone willing to take you in. We, we have no money. And then the innkeeper turned us away because he feared our wives would draw unwanted attention from the soldiers. Do you know who I am? Who? Who are you? I know who you are. Mort! Resubbing two months in a row. Thank you for continuing to support the stream, dude. Cheers. Now, I have made the, uh, the... The executive decision. Because Twitch has given us affiliates two month sub badges. So it goes one month, two month, three month, six month, nine month, twelve month. I'm actually going to push everything back down again so that our twelve month plus people can have um, gold cutlasses. Which means Mort, as of probably tomorrow, you will have just earned your first cutlass with your second month. It's not there yet. But I just need to push everything back. Hmm. Gem, could you do me a massive favor and, and chuck that in the mod section for me, please? Add to the list of things that I gotta do. Oh, You're Lord! A lucky dog, aren't you? you absolute gem! You diamond geezer! Gift in these subs! Resubbing yourself and then gifting You're five a lucky subs. Fella, aren't you? And these five subs have landed on constant innovation. The Alice of Wonderland, Pill Pal, Jordan Miller, and Cat Pig. Thank you so much. You're a Can I get some cheers fella, for the wonderful, you? wonderful Mort? You are incredibly kind, dude. How are things? You're a lucky fella, aren't you? Cheers, guys. I don't know what I did to uh, to deserve you. But I will absolutely You're take a it. You're lucky fella, aren't you? Taking the first place gift badge as well. Show that off with pride. Doing pretty darn good, geezer. Love, love geezer. Thank you again, dude. I'm very glad that you're doing it well. Thank you again. Gem, in one sec, no worries. It's a pretty simple thing. I've just got to push everything down one. Your Aussie friends call you geezer all the time. Is it an Aussie uh, saying? I only know it's like a Londoner saying. All right, geezer. Actually, Pompey as well. Anyway, this elven man has been turned away. I'm not sure, Echo. I'm sure Gabe will find out. Uh, yeah, these guys have been turned away from the innkeeper. Who else would have the heart and the room to take us in? Maybe that too, since they're all owned by the same people anyway. Touche. Right, we got to find somewhere to. Uh, what is it? Some some sanctuary. What's this place? Certainly. It'd be great if this was just perfect. When will it end? When will it end? Without doubt. 
Oh, these guys have got chickens. Look, you've got tons of space. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> Shh. Mama says I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. All right. Peasant, peasant, chicken. Who runs this joint? Is it the cat? It's clearly the cat that runs this joint, right? Hmm? Look at our town. Refugees everywhere. Gromnir's men wreaking havoc in the streets. Damn that general. I like this open plan, look. Hello, mate. You look a friendly face. Is peasant peasant chicken like duck duck goose? It is exactly like duck duck goose. Please help us. Cromney's men terrorises in the streets and I fear the army outside will soon burn Saladouche to the ground. I'll do my best, alright? But before I do that, I'm Speak. going to save. And after I've saved, Imowin! No problem at all. Time to take the uh, the initiative here, love. Quickly and precisely. What can I do? What's that? Was it? Are you shouting at me? Uh, they're just saying, "What? Well, what will you do when we're end?" Right. Wait, did it fail? Ready and willing. You can count on me. Uh. What is it? Your theft has been noticed by someone. Ah, uh, it's only. I just wanted to have a look, see what they got. They got two gold. I'm going to open it. Be like two gold. No, it's fine. There's nothing that can help me on my my quest. Yes. S -s 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 Escape scum! Really Another singular gold. And that's locked as well. It's like Duck Duck Goose, but with Polymorph Other. What is it? You point! Yes. I point. Yep, gotcha. Go on. Look inside, look inside. Lockpick successful. Look away! Go on, look away. Speak. Okay, it's fine. Certainly. It's twenty-three gold. But we're not going to. Uh... Doubt. Oh, Squip! You've got a name. Who are you? What do you want? You think you can hassle me just because I'm a kid? Uh, anything you can tell me about Melisan? Oh, I don't know anything about that. I'm just a kid. Hmm. -mm. The lady doth protest too much. I believe this to be a gnome. A cleanly shaven gnome. Yes? No? Okay, fine. Quickly and precisely. Uh, any... I mean, come on. Kids get everywhere. Surely he knows how to get into the castle. I don't know anything about anything. I'm just a kid. Without hesitation. Uh, do you anything about a missing spell book? Oh, sure. Just because I'm a street urchin, I have to know all about stolen books. Everyone always blames me. Squip stole this one. Squip took that. You got no proof. I have proof. Small muddy footprints. Like a child's footprints. Oh, okay. Yeah. I might know something about it. Maybe I can help you out for a price. 1,000 gold will get me talking. This little... Here's the deal for you. Start talking and I won't smack you around. Thousand gold? Forget it, Squip. You'll get f I'll give you five. No more, no less. Five gold! I've never had so much money at once. Okay, here's the scoop. Oh my god, can you imagine if we did give him a thousand gold? He's an enterprising little monkey. I stole the book from Hectan. He paid me to do it. But I don't have the book no more. I gave it to Hectan. Honest. Speak. So it was Hectan that was responsible. But, but he got the kid to do it. Wait, hold on. I think there's like real time day night cycle. It's definitely got a lot brighter up in here. Definitely. This 
will not take long. Hello, harlot. A pleasure to meet a socially acceptable person such as yourself. Uh, hey, lady. Do you know any guys who are here? Uh, you know any guys who want a good time? Uh, what I mean is, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying that you haven't done this before, have you? Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. I, I'm not a. I just, I just don't know how else to get your attention. I saw you talking to Melisanne. I heard her say you were trying to find Gromnir. Please, he he has my parents murdered. He had my parents murdered. I I want to kill that bastard. All right. Okay. Yeah. I'll see what I can do. You you, you will. Oh, nothing would make me happier. But how will you get inside the castle? I don't know. Do you know a way? No, I wish I did. There's some people that say that the old prison underground leads to the castle, but they're all sealed up now, just like the sewers. I heard that some of the army outside the walls tried to sneak in that way. That's why Gromnir had everything sealed up. I wouldn't know how to get down there at all. Well, I'll find some way, somehow. Yeah, Gromnir killed my parents. He deserves to die! Apparently, a uh, 31 gold gold coin would be worth 1,300 quid. So that kid would be set if you gave him 1,000. We gave him five. Which is what? Like a sixth of that? So, what are we talking? We just gave him a, the equivalent of like 250, 300 quid? Yes. It's not bad. I'd be happy with that. If it must be done. Cats and chickens and peasants everywhere. There's a militia guard. Are these guys more affable? Oh look, there's a hole that's open. Is that a door as well? No. I'm not sure whether we looked in that box. Uh, we can't get in there. All of these have been sealed up. Let's just talk to the militia guard. Hello? Something on your mind? I must defend the walls of Saradouche. I cannot be bothered by idle chatter. What is it? Hi, bro. It will be Let's done. go through here. You must gather your party before what venturing can it be forth. Now? Countess Santel, I know this is difficult for you. But you have to make a positive identification. Oh, Mirinel. Oh wait, that's somebody else, isn't it? Yes, he's he's the one. Matteo, he's the traitor. No, the Countess must be mad with grief. There has been some mistake. You are certain, Countess? There is no mistake. I am certain. Before my beloved son Ardic disappeared, he told me he had witnessed Matteo opening the gate. Uh, who the hell is this? There. Surely you can see, my overzealous Captain Salmon, that your egregious ac ac accusations, even, sorry, I've got a bit of thing stuck in my teeth, have needlessly vilified my impeccable character. Why are you doing this, Countess? I'm Ardic's friend. Your son and I grew up together. Captain, I stringently demand you incarcerate this heinous felon immediately. You make no demands on me. Casey Edge Harry That dude. I fulfill my duties as I see fit. Men, take Matteo away and escort the Countess to her quarters. Yes, please. Take me away from this place. <laughs> oh, there's a back room apparently. I wonder if it's got a what lich in it. it. Well, Captain, am I free to go now? It's this travesty of justice, this witch hunt, this, this fiasco finally at an end. You are free to go, Kaiser. Get out of my sight. I'm in no mood to see you and your uh, unscrupulous face right now. I suppose such abuse is the best approximation of an apology I can expect from an uncouth cretin such as yourself, Captain Salmond. 
Ooh, uh. Where the hell are we? Speak. Certainly. What can it be now? What? Oh, you must be one Mellison told me about. Just what our town needs. Bo more balls born. Ugh, my name is Captain Salmond. I'm a very busy man right now. Uh, I've got a couple of questions for you, dude. Well, you better make it quit. quick. Can't stay for long. Must see to the defense of the walls. Uh, why did that young fellow get dragged away just then? That? Oh, most unpleasant matter. A few days ago, someone opened a secret gate into the town. Saradouche could easily have been overrun. We just discovered the traitor was a young man named Mateo. You don't sound convinced. Lima, you would like someone to come and tuck you into bed tonight, kiss you on the forehead, and tell you everything is going to be okay. I'm going to try and do it as best I can remotely. Everything's going to be fine. You got this. You're going to feel better soon. You're going to have a lovely, restful week. Next week, things are going to start looking up. Tuck, 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 tuck. And... Mm, There's no doubt in my mind that someone has betrayed us. The enemy came through a small sewer outlet. It was protected by both a locked iron grate and several powerful magic wards. There is no way to open that entrance from outside, but Mateo has a faith... Mateo is a faithful soldier. Not the type of man to betray Saradouche. You're welcome. Maybe he didn't. Are there other suspects? An alarm was raised and my soldiers arrived only a few moments after the gate was opened. We found three people in the area. Mateo, Ardix Antel, and the merchant Kaiser Jahiri. Jari? Jiri? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. We'll call him Jir. When we began our investigations, I strongly suspected Kaiser. More here. What up, Jaffa? Good to see you, dude. I hope you're well. Hope the Derpin's going as well as it can do. He's a greasy, self-serving weasel who would sell his own mother for th if the price was right. Uh, oh, I get it. It had to be merchant, right? None of your own precious soldiers. Ah, wait, no. So why did you arrest Mateo? We didn't get a chance to complete our investigations. Ardic, the son of the Countess Santel, disappeared. He was our primary witness. Perhaps Ardic himself is the culprit. Did you consider this? Wholesome memes are wholesome. No, not Ardic. Someone who didn't want... Who? No, not Ardic. Someone who didn't know better might think Ardic was taking revenge for Gromnir's banishment of his father, but the Count was nothing but a cruel, violent bastard. Gromnir did Ardic and the Countess a favour, but Ardic bears no ill will towards the town. Still, disappearance is pretty suspicious. No, it isn't. Ardic was taking his regular shift, manning the battlements. He wouldn't be the first taken by an arrow or some foul spell. Maybe Matteo murdered him. So why do you suspect Matteo now? Did I hear you say ba weep gragna weep nini bong? Hello. What up, super sub? Yes, you did, Pixie. That's exactly what you heard me say. Hello, good people of chat. Hello, good super of the Submariners. How the devil are you? How's things? How's your ankle? Are you doing your exercises? How's Mrs. Sub? How is life in this new scary world? Devon went fine today. Keeping up with good spirits as much as he can. Cheers to that, dude. I will cheers to that. Okie dokie. It's a pretty weak case, if you ask me, by the way. Our attention was focused on the vile Kaiser, but we had no proof. Then the Countess told us that Ardic, her son, was implicated. That had implicated Matteo before he disappeared. It's a pretty weak case. If you knew the Countess, 
You would know her word is beyond reproach, and she has nothing to gain from a lie. Mateo was Ardic's closest friend. Accusing him was very traumatic for her. Still, I have to admit, this does not sit well in my gullet. I was so sure Kaiser was the culprit. To discover it was one of my own men, I'm shocked. Seems like you want to wrap this up with a quick execution. Uh, mind if I come to watch the traitor's execution? Uh, so now you want to just sit back and wait for the executioner? Shocked, I say! Well, not that shocked. Mateo will not be executed. Not while we're under siege. The defense of Saradouche is my first concern, but if I had more time, I would investigate further. I just want to find the truth. Ah, nice map of the Sword Coast, Echo. Awesome. Love it. Uh, perhaps I could delve deeper into this matter for you. I do like the truth. If you wish to investigate further, I will not stand in your way. Speak to Mateo at his cell. The jailer will let you see him. Okay. All right, thank you for the information. I'll sh I shall be going now. Many, many mistakes. <laughs> the irony of that gem. How the heck can Edward Sausage Fingers answer that lot? <laughs> right, he's off. Yes. I didn't motife! Neither did I. Direct me as you Honestly. Will. Ooh! Ah, oh, goddammit. Are we, like, maxed out? Oh, yeah, because we've got tons of this elven holy water. Uh, Eerie, you're a half-elf. Anybody want to summon an Afriti? God damn it! The first time we try and learn a spell... And we fail. Fine. What's this? Potion of invulnerability. Only I one. I have had to drop what you gave me. I have only two arms and no more space. No more space. How goes the Baldur's dank meme throne of Baal? Not bad. Not bad. Uh, the story hook was a little bit telegraphed. There was very little that we could do. We kind of, we had to accept help from one of the big bads, the previous big bads, uh, which felt a bit odd. There was no way around it, but we're in the story now proper. So we've got lots of options. Hopefully, anyway. Sorry, it's just conversing with the squeaky spirits there for a second. Needed to know what to do next. What is it? It will be done. What do we have in here? History of the Dragon Coast. History of the Drow 1, 2, and History of Tethyr. Can you make that noise again, please? Yes, I certainly can words, make that noise not again, please. Words. I mean, it's not actually me. That's in game. Boo scuttles away as you try to grab him, and Minsk stops any further attempt to steal the animal with a harsh glare. Is it a frog? No, it's Boo, the miniature giant space hamster. Boo is a fuzzy little hamster. While Minsk believes that Boo is a miniature giant space hamster, you are rather certain that the tiny rodent is just a normal hamster. Thought Morse code was redundant these days. Minsk and Boo stand ready. Yes. There you go. Certainly. Right. That was Morse code. That was S O S. It's Morse code. S E E S. Hey, that was S O S. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Yeah, 
That's exactly what it was. Dot, dot, dot. Dash, dash, dash. Dot, dot, dot. It's not my fault you can't read it. So we have been, uh, we have been sent on the trail of, well, several things. We're looking for a lost book. We are helping a load of elves find a home. We are trying to right a possible wrong incarceration. And we also need to kill Gromnir. Or at least calm him down. What is E then? Because dash, dash, dash. There's no way that that could be two different letters. Yeah, there Every you go. hamster has his. Let's try this. E is just dot. There's no way that that was S E E S. That's exactly what I did. What is it? Fool of a toque. <laughs> right, save you, Davy. Uh, we did just save, didn't we? Uh, let's have a quick skeg at our journal. Dealing with Gromnir. Sister Pharrell gave me a key to get into the abandoned jail. Saradouche under siege. We've got to find... Wait, no. We find ourselves in the city of Saradouche. It seems they cannot escape the city, even by magical means, while the army is camped outside. So we need to break the siege of Saradouche somehow. Try at the gates. Captain Salmond informed me that uh, there is a plot to let the enemy into Saradouche through a secret gate in the wall. On testimony of the Countess Santel, the traitor, a young man named Matteo, has been taken to the militia headquarters. Oh, oh, I'm going to, I'll, I'll, I'll put that, I'm going to mark that as unread and, and read that one later, Father. And we have Lazarus's missing spell book. Street urchin named Squip told me that he stole the book and gave it to Hectan, the man Lazarus originally suspected of the crime. He who smelt it, dealt it. Right. Baldur's Gate 2, Throne of Baal, done for today. <laughs>